What you're seeing here is a ticketing system that took well over 40 hours to create, condensed down to eight minutes. So here you'll see us building out the, the UI. We started this project two years ago. It took over 35 weeks to create, and we are revisiting this application. We're gonna go in, we're gonna modernize it. We're gonna move things from the app on start over to app formulas. We're going to add some additional features, some screens, perhaps some power automate flows. Um, we might as well throw in a Power BI report too, right? <laughs> So this application was really fun to build because you know that this app could be used within any organization. Now, not just for an IT department, but for any department where something needs to be created like a ticket. And that could be an issue, that could be all kinds of different things that people need to track and follow through on. In a way, it's a little bit of a workflow tracker. But here on the screen, you see that we have several tabs at the top for uh, tickets. So we have the ticket information. The second tab is for images. So if you can imagine putting in a ticket and taking some photos, some images of something that uh, is related to a ticket or an issue. And then there's a office use tab where only the, the people that are working on the ticket can go in and modify that. And uh, what you see here on the screen is that uh, we're just sort of building out the, the tabs for that screen. The, the screen that you saw there a second ago that will come back up very shortly is the main heart and soul of the application. It is the screen where people are able to add and edit tickets. And it needs to be pretty comprehensive. It's, it needs to be able to edit all the, the facets, all the different portions of the ticket and taking it into account all of the, the workflows and business processes that go along with managing a ticket through to completion. So we keep track of uh, departments. So this particular ticketing system will have different ticket types for different departments. So let's say if I sat on uh, the second floor of the building in a cube and I needed that cube moved to a different floor or I need a light bulb replaced, well, that might go to the facilities department or uh, in the case I just saw there on the screen, like you need a laptop replaced, that would be an IT type of a ticket. Let's say there's an issue that needs to be brought up to HR and um, you need to get uh, you know, your, your paycheck stub or something or you need to report some type of uh, hostile work environment or, or whatever <laughs> HR works with. You know. So as you can see, this ticketing system could handle a lot of different things. So you could apply it to, you know, so as you can see, this ticketing system could handle a lot of different things. So you could apply it to any organization, any department really. And um, it is, I would call this a medium to large size application that, that you could build within Power Apps. Um, I, I wouldn't say this is like one of the largest. I would say this is a, like a medium sized application. I, I would say it's pretty typical, um, at least for the projects that, that I've been on where I've worked on this. So every once in a while you'll see that uh, we go back and reference the ERD diagram, that's Entity Relationship Diagram, showing all the relationships. And as you can see on the left side, we are using SharePoint as a data source. And uh, this project used the uh, Jumpstart Kit. So we already have a menu, we already have a lot of features already built in. And what the Jumpstart Kit allows us to do is to not have to start from scratch and get a jump start on the project. So as you can see, there's an application header at the top. There's a secondary header right below that that will show this the screen name. <clears throat> and of course, we do have a dynamic theming system already built into this. Um, and this teal color is the, the color that I went with that I thought looked nice. So we went with that. And um, as you can see, we're going by the screens that handle sending out notifications for people who want to be notified about a ticket. And this was a project that was really fun to work on. Um, it is a course I sell, but 
hey, this weekend we're doing a Black Friday special where you can essentially get the whole system as well as quite a few of my other things in my insiders group. You should see a link at the bottom uh, in the video description. You can get all this for $47 uh, this weekend all the way through uh, Tuesday at midnight, the you know the day right after Cyber Monday. You get it for $47. Uh, now that is a membership, but you can cancel at any time. And uh, you can get all the video footage showing step by step how I built this system. And uh, you get all the files too. So uh, there's quite a bit that went in to this application. And uh, I hope you, you guys enjoy this. Now we're actually going to have a, a live stream. It's part 36, guys. We're going to have a live stream here in a few minutes where we're going to take this and move forward and build on to it. So if you're watching this, and it is the day that I released this video. Uh, just know that there's a there's a live stream coming up here in a few minutes at 10 a.m. EST. So this should be uh, fun to, to walk through and um, looking forward to engaging you guys. Now, I, I plan on uh, holding this live stream really as a Zoom event. So I'll put that link down below as well. So you'll just have to register for that. But the good news is that you'll be able to come on um, to the zoom meeting and if you have some things that you want to say in real time or you'd like me to, to bring you on as a panelist so you can talk uh we could do that we have a lot of flexibility there so just trying something new there now this video is about to end but uh be sure to to check out all these uh these other videos and check out the insider